Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the Weekly Contest 284. Minimum weighted subgraph with the required paths. So this one was way tricky for me. I actually, I don't think I spent that, I mean, I, I spent 12 minutes here. Um, I don't think I spent that much time coding per se. Maybe I did, we'll have to see. Uh, and you could watch me solve a live during the contest after the explanation, but, uh, but the the first required path you have to notice is that you should hit the like button and you should hit the subscribe button and you should join me on Discord where a lot of people, uh, a lot of smart people are in there kind of helping each other, uh, which is something that I'm proud about. Um, but yeah, uh, okay. But yeah, so this one, I thought about a couple of things. The first thing I thought about, to be honest, is Max Flow. Um, it's very high machinery. It is not for everybody, and it's not necessary in this case, but I was just thinking through it a little bit, um, because, I don't know, that's sometimes when you have a hammer, sometimes it works. But the first thing I noticed is, after that is that N is 10 to the fifth, and if you know anything about max flow, is that max flows are not fast. So uh, N is not N to, uh, 10 to the fifth fast. So I, I ruled that out, you have to give it some dart. So the second thing to do about this problem um, that I did is just thinking about, okay, um, so, you know, this is a directed graph problem. Um, so then I thought, okay, what if that's what they want you to think? That's what big graph wants you to think. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I thought maybe, is there a solution going backwards, right? Like maybe, maybe I could do instead of source one and source two to destination, I could go from destination to source one, source two. So I thought of that, uh, thought about that for a while. Uh, for a little bit, and I thought, mm, no, you still have the issue, right? So one, so just to kind of be a little bit clear, um, actually, let me pull up my paintbrush, and I actually have this thing, but I don't know if it's plugged in, so maybe I have to figure out how to plug this thing in. Haven't turned this on in a while. Sorry, friends. Uh, where's my pen? Uh, give me a second. I'm I'm pour, pouring out my paint actually, so that's what. You see me doing where my pen go for this? Okay. So, um, yeah. So the the thing that I would would think about is that I mean, there's an obvious uh wrong case, right? The obvious wrong case is that if you have something like, you know, you have two, you have, you know, this is node one, uh, you know, you have this is node one, this is node two, um, the shortest path, say, you know. Uh, there's some shortest path of both of these, right? That goes to here. Um, but but the actual, if you kind of combine them in the total weighted graph, it's like a big, huge heavy node that, you know, combines these two, right? So we kind of want to figure out how to get this answer. And that's based um how to think about this in a way such that this case can be resolved. And that's basically the way that I thought about it. Um, I really thought about it a lot. Like I said, I thought about maybe going backwards, but it had the same issue, right? Like if I have one fat weight, um, you know, in a greedy kind of way, the shortest path, it'll go to, you know, um, I mean, this is just the same graph reversed, but hopefully this gets you the same uh, right idea, um, right? Um, yeah. Uh, and you want to take the graph in the middle. So then after a little bit, uh, oops. Uh, so after a little bit of thinking, to be honest, I thought, okay. Um, I thought, okay. I mean, looking back at this graph, the graph to the left, I thought to myself, um, okay, if I thought, if, okay, so looking at this structure, let me change the colors a little bit. Hang on. Hmm. That's a weird color. Uh, but yeah, looking at the graph on the left, I asked myself a little bit, um, okay, looking at this structure here and the middle node that we have here, right? That means that, and this is something that I thought about during the contest, right? Um, I thought, okay, if we know what this middle node is, then, and, then we just have to, um, if we know what this middle node is, then we... And, and this middle node is basically um, what I thought about as kind of the ancestor of the graph, like almost like an LCA type thing, longest common ancestor, or what is longest? No, 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 LCA is, uh, 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 what, you know, the, 
basically the ancestor that has the common root, right? So I was thinking about something like that, where, okay, for each node, if that's the last node where they merge, what would be the cost, right? So that's basically the visualization that I have. Um, so my visualization is, okay, what if I have this node, how do, um, then I can get this very quickly. Um, but then my, my instinct here was that, well, uh, let's say we have, a, we have a graph of n nodes, and in this case, we have n, O of n middle graph, middle nodes, right? If we have O of n middle nodes, you can't want to all source, or you can't do like a shortest path on all of them to get this edge, right? Like, you know, going from here to here, at least my dot process at the time, is easy because you can do a, a shortest path uh, algorithm starting from one, you do a shortest path algorithm starting to two, and then we have to find this, uh, let me change the color again. We have to, you know, brute force finding the middle one, but then that's a little bit tricky, right? Uh, of trying to get the fat edge from this node to here. Because um, if you could do that, that's easy. It's n square, but not good. So then, luckily, um, my battery's low, okay. Well, luckily, the, the way that I end up doing was combining the two. Um, so what I did was that, okay, what I, I do here is that I combine this node, I combine this, this other graph that's here. I go, okay, let's do a shortest path from the destination node. So then now I have the distance from the destination node to every other node. And then the problem becomes straightforward in that now the shortest weighted graph is just the length of these red, at, uh, the shortest path from one, the shortest path from two, and then now brute force every middle node and the middle node's edge from here can be calculated by this backwards thing from the destination source. Hopefully this doesn't look uh, too ridiculous, maybe it does, but that's basically the idea is that you're trying to, brute for, uh, you're trying to look for the middle node um, by being a little bit clever um, and that cleverness took a little bit of time, but we'll go over the code now. Uh, let me put away my stuff for a second. Turn this off. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the idea. Let me make sure that I'm not covering the screen because I've done that in the past. But yeah, but basically, um, I implement what everything I said. Uh, so I have the regular graph. Uh, I have the, the graph that what I call your, the edges and then the edges reversed, hence the R. Um, and this is just very easy uh, edgeless setup, which is very common. So you should definitely know uh, this at some point. Maybe, maybe you weren't thinking about it, but saying um, this is just Dijkstra's algorithm or Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, you should way, be very familiar with this. This comes up all the time in competitive. This comes up all the time in interviews. So by itself, you should know this. Um, so I'm not going to go over is my point. Um, yeah, and this is only single source from start. Uh, and E is just the edge list that I pass in later. So then now I get the shortest path from the source one, the shortest path from source two, and the shortest path from the, the destination as we mentioned on the reverse graph, of course. And then at the end, we just brute forced having the middle node. Um, and the, the cost is, of course, to the node i will be d1 to node i, d2 to node i, and then d, uh, the destination to node i, then the reverse graph, and then you min it. Um, and of course, if it's greater than infinity, then it's just negative one. But otherwise, uh, yeah, that is your answer. And that's basically it. I'm going to make this slightly smaller so you could see it on one screen, though you could also pause it, of course. Uh, okay, maybe not. Uh, oops, one button. Uh, okay, this is barely on the full screen, so hopefully this is good. But yeah, um, so this is just regular Dijkstra's algorithm. So this is going to be all of, what is it? Um, we plus y? No, 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 no. We log, well, in this case, ours is we log y, but of course, um, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not y. Y log v, whoops. Uh, yeah. Well, technically, I guess it's y log y, but eh, okay. Uh, but you get the idea. Y, of course, is bounded. Um, so it is not n square, you know, of course, in the worst case, it's n square, but not in this particular problem. Uh, let me make it big again. Um, that's what's going on. And of course, we do this three times, so that's going to end up being the complexity uh, for the time. 
because we just do it three times here. And of course, the N is just V, so this is also O of V. Um, and that's pretty much it. In terms of space, we have three, uh, we have three linear arrays, so that's O of V time. Also, O of V space times three for these things. Uh, of course, that's O of V anyway. Um, and of course, the edge list will also be just O of Y. So, so in total, the space required is. Uh, let me just write everything. Y log V time uh, algorithm. Uh, maybe that's wrong. Maybe, I, I, I mean, technically, I guess the way that I implement is Y log Y, but eh, okay. Um, yeah, ish. Eh, I mean, you know, and uh, we are, it's the space. Um, you could t get a tighter bound on this depending on how you implement some of the weirdness about it. So, so yeah. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And that's pretty much all I have for this one. Um, I did this in about 11 minutes, but a lot of it I, I got kind of um, after thinking about the visualizations that we were talking about. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, stay good. Oh, no, wait, not yet. Uh, you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Oh, wow, people have finished. Nice. Um, that five-minute penalty hurts, though. So, okay. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay, let's see. Give it an energy N. <sighs> so, okay. So, got in five minutes. Maybe I can get in ten minutes. Let's see. Give it an energy N, and then I'm rated directed graph. Okay. Edges. Yep. Given three distinct integers, source one, source two, and destination. From and two. Okay, I mean these are just edges. Okay. Okay. Such that from both a set of edges. Okay. Hmm. So we have to get the graph such that they overlap. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Surprised Josh didn't get it already, but hmm, let me think. I'm trying to think whether this is a min cut max for I don't think so though. Shortest path span true. No, because there could be a thing where the shortest paths are round and then put the longer path in the middle. Something like that. Mm. Still binary search answer. What is the rate? Mm, so that's not it. Uh, oh, at least not from naively. Let's see. This doesn't have to be shortest, is it? I mean, in the one one source case, it is shortest. But if it's two, then what does that mean? Is there a thing with? Is there a thing with? Uh, strongly connected components. I don't think so. 
reversing the graph so we, what happens if we reverse the graph I think reversing the graph is a good idea, but I don't know how to do it still. Twenty-one people got it already. Wow. Maybe I just don't know this one. <clears throat> and it's big enough that is um. I wonder if this is like a. I wonder if this is a known problem. I think there's a way. Okay. Hmm, can you can I do that? No, I mean okay, N is too big. I was I think I if N was small I have a way to do it. Multi source. Try to figure out the first place where it branches. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I think I have the idea, but I have to try to think, think about how to implement it correctly. Oh, okay. I see it. I'm I'm being dumb. Okay, I think I got it. Um, a lot of people got this one though, even if it's not updating, because it seems like at least twenty-seven people got it. So I'm like way behind. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay. Yeah, 
Eh, I'm typing pretty slowly for some reason, even though I know what I want to do. Um, but okay. What am I doing? This is faded. Sounds like it. I don't know, probably. Somebody. Mm, that was okay. I should, should have done that. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, but more importantly, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and next time. Bye bye.